you're pregnant. <laughs> and here, here's what it is. You're pregnant with God's nature. There's a seed. You know, Jesus is called the seed, capital S. Come on, I'm gonna fly off of here. <laughs> the seed, the sperm of Almighty God dwells in the womb of your spirit. The Holy Spirit has come to live inside of your spirit. And everything in your spirit is holy. Now the Holy Spirit comes committed to work with us for the rest of our life to help get what's in us out of us. So somebody can see it. Can I have my ladies come up, please? Somebody had the job of going around and finding pregnant women and saying, how far along are you? <laughs> okay, now they're just gonna stand and they're gonna stand sideways. <laughs> Okay, I hope you can see them. Is the pulpit in the way? Because I don't want the pulpit to be in the way. Well, you'll get them on the screen. All right, now, when you're first born again, you got all this stuff happening on the inside of you. You're feeling things. You're feeling changes. You're feeling emotions. You know, you got, you know, it's like when a person gets a dream from God. It's like when God spoke to me and said, you're going to go all over the world and teach my word. I mean, I was just like, wow. <laughs> but when I started telling people, they laughed. They thought I was crazy. They didn't want to have anything to do with it anymore. You know why? I wasn't showing yet. <laughs> I, was I knew I was pregnant. She's pregnant. You're How far along are you? Seven weeks. Seven weeks. You know you're pregnant, right? Are you, are you already feeling any changes? And um, morning sickness. Morning sickness, yeah. <laughs> see, she's, she's got some stuff going on. But I see her and I'm like, you sure don't look pregnant to me. <laughs> well, see, that's what happens when Jesus comes to live on the inside of you and you know that you're now a new creature and you're trying to tell everybody else what's happened and they're like, well, you don't, you're not acting any different. You're no different. You're, we're not showing yet. Well, see, there's a real problem if nine months from now she's still not showing. <laughs> Come on, stick. This is what's wrong with the church. Christians are 30, 40, and 50 years old and they're still not showing. <laughs> Come on. So. We're not expected to show after being born again a month. God works in us. In Philippians 2.12, it says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, not in your own strength, but while God effectually is at work in you. So he's saying the good thing that's in you, work now with the Holy Spirit, follow the Holy Spirit, obey the Holy Spirit, stay in the Word, water that seed with the Word, and you'll grow. Little by little, from glory to glory, you'll be changed into his image. Well, now, how far along are you? Six weeks, third baby. Six weeks, third baby. Well, you, you know, you're not showing much either. How about you? Seven months. Seven months. Wow, look at that. We got something going on here. <laughs> now, I can tell that you're pregnant. By the way, I bless these babies in the name of Jesus. They're going to be healthy and strong and whole and serve God and be a blessing to these mamas. How far along are you? 30 weeks. 30 weeks. How many weeks do you have left then? 10. 10. Hmm. I carried all my babies 10 months. <laughs> 10 months. That's why what comes out of me is well done. <laughs> Okay, now, oh, we don't have any, I can tell she's pregnant. Everybody, how many of you can tell that she's pregnant? 
How about you? 36 weeks. Okay, now, do you feel pregnant? Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you ready to deliver? Yes. You're ready. Yes. You'd be, any day would be fine for you, right? Yes. yes. Well, see, <laughs> come on, get a hold of this. If you're pregnant with a dream, God has put something in your heart. I don't care if it's to get out of debt or to go to the world preaching the gospel. Whatever your dream is, it's important to you, and if it's important to you, it's important to God. So we're not just talking about people being in ministry. You got to be patient and you got to be faithful because Satan is the one who came up with the idea of abortion and he is a dream thief and he wants you to abort your dream and if he can't get you to abort it, then he wants you to birth it early Premature births don't always make it. And he wants you to do things out of God's timing and birth a bunch of sickly things that don't have any real life that you're really not ready to do yet. So you get out in the world and you say a bunch of things that you can't pull off and you make a fool out of yourself. And how many people do we see today that get in ministry way too fast? They, they, they can sing really great. So all of a sudden, they're promoted, 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 promoted because of their gift. And then they have some massive moral failure and become ashamed to everybody in the body of Christ. And now all Christians are judged because all these people are phonies. Don't try to birth something before God's ready. Beg him not to give you any opportunity that's not an opportunity from him. Amen? Amen? So the longer you stick with it, come on, when I send you home, I don't want you to go home with some new vision for your life and have it last a week and then have you throw it away, abort it, because you found out it's going to take a little bit longer than you thought it would, be a little harder than you thought it would. Anybody? With? It's easy to go on a diet Sunday night after dinner. <laughs> Anybody can do that. But what happens by Wednesday afternoon when you're hungry enough to eat everything on the table and then eat the table? <laughs> That's when you got to be committed. <laughs> It's easy to say, I want to get out of debt, but when you have to be really committed is when you're out shopping, which you shouldn't be. Don't ever shop for entertainment if you're trying to get out of debt. Only go when you have to buy something. You got to be committed when it's 75% off. <laughs> and you're already not paying for what you got. Amen? How, how many of you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me tell you something. You can clap and cheer and shout and yell in here. When I send you home, I want you to know the excitement's not going to last. The conference is going to be over. It's going to be the middle of the night, and you're going to wake up, and the devil is going to tell you some of the biggest lies you have ever heard in your life. And you're going to look at the teenagers that are driving you crazy and the husband that is driving you crazy and the bills that are driving you crazy. And that's when the devil's going to sneak in and try to get you to forget your dream. Yes. Amen. Yes. And I want you to remember me saying, stay committed. Yes. Stay faithful. Yes. Don't give up. Thank you, ladies. Oh, did I get to pray for all of you? I want all of you. Bless these babies in Jesus' name. Bless, 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 bless. You can name them after me. You know, there's a lot of different stages of pregnancy. There's all the crazy hormones. Come on. And some ladies, when their hormones go crazy, they get really crazy. And then you get to that stage that that one girl was and you just feel so fat. <laughs> and you just feel like you're just gonna pop and you're so uncomfortable. And that's the way some of you are, like you're, you're pregnant with something from God. And you're just 
you just think, if I don't get this out of me, <laughs> if I, man, I was so pregnant with the desire to teach God's people. I remember getting on the floor and just begging God one night. I'd been on a fast. And I mean, the Spirit of God came on me, and I was just like, I pleaded with God for hours. God, please, you just got to let me help more people, God. I got to help more people. I got to help more people. God puts that in you. And I felt like if I couldn't give birth to something other than preaching to 20 people in the basement floor, that I couldn't stand it anymore. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Come on, you know, anybody know what I'm talking about? But I stayed committed. There's a lot of different stages of pregnancy. There's transition. <laughs> and that's one of the most painful times of pregnancy, by the way, when the baby's transitioning into the birth canal. Anybody in transition right now? <laughs> I hope I haven't lost you. <laughs> I guess if you're a man, you might be lost, but... Now, you know, today women get epidurals. But I'm going to tell you something. There are no spiritual epidurals. No spiritual epidurals. If you want God to use you, he's going to have to get you ready. Because you're not ready. You think you're ready, but you're not ready. Then I'm going to tell you what. When you leave this place, you can expect, and I, I hate to even say this, I'm not trying to prophesy bad things, but I don't want you to be surprised. The devil is going to come immediately and try to steal from you what you got here. Don't you let him do it. As soon as he shows up lying to you, say, no, you're a liar. God lives in me. His seed is in me. I am pregnant with everything that God is. He is changing me from glory to glory, and I am going to do something amazing with my life. We hope you enjoyed this teaching. To get more from Joyce, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.